Hey, everybody out there, all you hockey fans, this is the voice of the Clemson Tigers, Razor Razor Sharp. And we are calling the last game of the season between the Clemson Tigers and University of South Carolina Gamecocks, known as the Palmetto Cup. That's right. Who is going to reign supreme when it comes down to the game of H-O-C-K-E-Y in the south part of America? Well, we're about ready to find out. And the puck is going to drop here in a little bit. You know, both these teams have really good records on the year with, of course, the Gamecocks having a little better record, but they are Division I. And the team known as the Tigers, your Clemson Tigers, Division II, of course, moving in the direction of becoming Division I with the way they've been coming together and playing the game of hockey lately. These teams are going to square off today and when the face-off drops, we're going to find out what's going to happen based on the last time we saw them. Of course, it was a 5-4 to four overtime win on Gamecocks home ice. I was there for the call. I know you remember that one before Christmas. But it's coming up. We are excited. We're ready for this one. We're ready to get the show on the road here at Bon Secor Arena in downtown Greenville, South Carolina. The 2024 Palmetto Cup. Coming your way right now. Till the puck is dropped. This is Razor Razor Sharp saying, Hockey out. the Bon Secours Arena, downtown Greenville, South Carolina. 
This is the voice of the Clemson Tigers, razor, razor sharp. And the Palmetto Cup is in your face. That's right. The South Carolina Gamecocks have been the team that the Tigers have wanted to conquer all season and not coming up with a victory against this team today could be the day they change those fortunes. That's right, both these teams are ready to go. What a rival we got here. Bon Secor Arena, you can't beat it. The environment is electric and the game is ready to get on the way. Last week in the Clemson Tigers skated to a four to one loss in the finals of the South Championship game between the Tennessee Volunteers and the likes of our favorite players, of course, the Clemson Tigers. Congratulations, making it to the finals. And they have punched their ticket to the Nationals, which will take place in March in Pennsylvania. Well, the linesman is getting in place here at Bon Secours, the home of the Swamp Rabbits. I'm the voice of the ice, Razor Razor Sharp. The puck is getting ready to drop. Still taking care of a few more things over there on the far boards as those officials leave the ice. We've been waiting for this battle all year. Both teams have, of course, a five to four win in overtime on home ice for the Gamecocks. And that spelled a victory. And I will tell you what, we're looking for a battle today. We hope you've enjoyed this wonderful hockey season that started just a few short months ago. It feels like it was gone in a flash. But here we are, Bonsacor Arena, the game we all look forward to. The Palmetto Cup is on the way. Hockey on! Charles DuBose will send his puck up to center ice and trying to get that puck up was Herbert Kopp, that puck will come down in the corner, sending all the way out, trying to retrieve that pass, but running into a tower of defense, number 15 for the Gamecocks. Player by the name of Bobby DeCicio. This puck will go down in the corner. Going behind the net to get that puck will be the Gamecocks. They'll try to go north and south, but this puck will stay in the zone for the Tigers. Getting out front of the net, that puck went through the crease. It'll go out to the point, sent over to Brucker. Brucker will send it down. Nice block there. Getting down low to stop that puck was Jackson Toro. Playing his defensive role the way you're taught. And here comes the Gamecocks up on the right wing, but that puck will be chipped away. No, stays on the far boards. Center and pass, try to get the puck out front of the net. Went through all the bodies and didn't make it. There's behind the net will be the Gamecocks. Perfect setup, and the save is made. Of course, in net today, we've got the goaltender for the Clemson Tigers, number 32. This puck will go down in the corner. I'll get his name. And here comes the Gamecocks up the ice. Gain in the blue line. There's a shot that won't get through. Christian Romeo is there to defend that puck off, but there's going to be some open space. That puck will bounce off a couple defenders and come out. Gamecocks will control the puck. Sent back out front. That puck will be sent to the other side of the ice and going down behind the net. We'll have a stoppage of play. 17.45 left in the first period here at Bon Secours Wellness Arena. I'm the voice of Clubs and Tigers, Razor Razor Sharp, and we hope you are taking this one in today and enjoying this one. 
setting up for the game Cox sending that back over handling that puck will be Patrick O'Brien we'll just leave that behind the net that will be the captain Samuelson nice setup that puck will not get through that combustion of players this puck will begin to make its attempt to get out of the zone defended well by Clemson it will start to go back toward the offensive side of the ice for the Gamecocks gaining that blue line making a move and handling that puck will go to a face off players come together there to show a little fist to cuff action and of course you're not going to see a fight with those face masks on but you will see them push each other around and get rough just part of the game just part of the game of hockey. Between the pipes for the Tigers today is Matthew Caldwell. Matthew Caldwell wears that yellow helmet. Very easy to tell who's on the ice when you see him. And he is a big goaltender. Definitely, he has all the statures you want to play high level net minding in any division, any league, and in any genre of hockey. Pass over, Benjamin Brucker. Coming up is Brian Blomquist. Brian Blomquist controls, sends it over to Will Rawson. This will come out. Watch out. A two on one could develop. Having to get back is Rawson. He's going to fan on the pass over. And taking no chances and snatching that puck out of the air will be called well. Hands it back to the man in black and white stripes and we'll have another faceoff. This faceoff will take place in the offensive zone for the South Carolina Gamecocks. University of South Carolina Gamecocks Division I Hockey. They will be entering into the tournament, the national tournament here in a couple weeks. In Pennsylvania as well in the Division One tournament. I believe they're sitting in the sixth or seventh seed. Watch out, Cook coming into the, that's a nice play by High No, but the save is made by the goaltender from the Gamecocks. Number 33. Here comes Captain Samuelson up the ice. Captain Samuelson will move in that there's a puck that goes astray. He'll go all the way to the other end of the ice. Handling the battles in the blue paint today for your Gamecocks, if you're a Gamecock fan, is a player by the name of Tyler Tomovian. And Clemson trying, ooh, gave that puck away. That is onside, nice move in. Good defense by Clemson, though. Tyler Tamoyan in between the pipes. There's another, oh, and that's gonna be an absolute wonderful shot. Little time and space. And if there's one player you don't wanna get time and space to on the Gamecocks, it is number three, Brendan Flaherty. I've called his name before, and I've seen him score goals before. But look at all the time and space that opens up here as he looks, as you look on the board at the replay. Well, we didn't get a good view of the replay, that's okay. But it was just a lot of room to handle that puck and fire at home. Long distance shot, though. I think Caldwell should have had that. Maybe there was a screen in front. We'll look back at it.
Face off in the offensive zone for Clemson, looking to come back from that one goal deficit. Will Rossum will send that back at the point. That will be Brian Blomquist will try to get it down the corner, but battled well by the Gamecocks, who will now send it over the blue line, out to neutral ice, and this puck will be dumped down the corner by Benjamin Brucker. Good hustle there by Santiago Diaz, number 88 for the Clemson Tigers. That will stay in the zone. And Rossum will get to this puck. Going low to the ice to shield that puck off those players. Trying to go for the wraparound. It's not there. Center and pass off the bodies. A shot. Oh, Benjamin Brucker had a chance to capitalize on a bouncing puck that came out to his tape. And he got all glass. Gamecocks are going to look to set up now. Brian Blomquist sends up that Santiago Diaz will send it down. They'll dump the puck in the zone. There will be a discipline line change taking place behind the play. As new troops come over for Clemson. And a few troops as well for the Gamecocks. Clemson is controlling the play here in their offensive zone for a moment here. Dan Custer looking out. That backhand goes down to Kate Hynold. Hynold, no. Is that a little toe drag action for the captain, Samuelson, who couldn't get the shot he's looking for, but he's going to look to get some time and space now. Ooh, that did not get through the defender there, and this puck will come out to neutral ice. Oliver Grinkin will send it back over to Charles DeBose. Charles DeBose loses that puck at his feet. Watch out. Mumble jumble hockey in the middle of the ice there. Here comes Captain Samuelson. He could have time and space. There's a shot. That's going to go off the blocker. That's right, doing his job there will be the goaltender for the Gamecocks. Tamoyan uses blocker. And that's about all he could use at that shot as it was in that area. And there is another pause in action. We'll go to another face off. Twelve fifty-five left in the first period is one nothing for the Gamecocks from University of South Carolina. We have a battle on our hands. Solid cop behind the net. Ooh, it's tripped down. No hand in the air. Gamecocks gonna look to get out of the zone. Trying to get the center ice, they will. Puck to flex off of two players, but going down the corner to get this puck. Using his wheels will be that player from the Gamecocks. That puck will come back out to center ice. Chasing this puck. Clemson will try to get there, but it's slapped back around the other direction on the boards, and it's actually going to stay there, and Clemson will try to get it out of the zone. They will not get it out of the zone. There's a pass. Out front, as Connor Berman was waiting in front of the net. Caldwell wanted none of that, though. Boy, could you imagine if he would have got that on the doorstep with only the goaltender to beat? Caldwell would have been like, okay. But he did not have to. It did not come into fruition. Ronan Bryant. That's a nice check there. Gamecocks are putting a body on the Tigers. Pass over. Ronan Bryant tried to handle the puck, leaving it there. This puck will go back in the zone. But gathering that puck up will be Ethan Callahan. That puck will not tip. It will go all the way down. And arm in the air will be an icing. 11-19, 11-1. The Clemson looking to come back from that one goal down position they're in. And Gamecocks are looking to do more of the same. Pretty good battle we got going on our hands. Both teams are doing a good job in their perspective ends of the ice. You got to like what you're seeing if you're on both sides of the ice today. Both sides, both sides are 
playing responsibly in all areas. Just a puck that was shot from a distance and Caldwell couldn't find it in time and it's one nothing for the Gamecocks. And there will be another icing. This draw will take place in the offensive zone for Clemson. Will Rawson will handle the duties. Backhands. Blomquist try to get that puck down net, but here comes the Gamecocks up the ice. Going to gain some steam, get over the blue line. That's number 23. Going to look for center and pass. All the way out the blue line, this puck will go, and they'll have to regroup. That player was Ben Ricitelli. Boy, do I remember that name. He had an absolute wild goal in the game that we had a couple months ago before the Christmas break, before the holiday break. He had an end-to-end -end rush and a wicked wrister. I'll never forget that play. Ben Ricitelli. Clemson will now look to Go on the face-off as that is to Captain Samuelson. Caldwell, watch that puck go down in the corner. On the backhand, Charles DeBose tried to get it up the far boards. And that puck will be flipped out by Heinold. Captain Sams leaves that puck there. Good move by Heinold. Heinold could get in. Oh, nice toe drag. Oh, what moves by Heinold. Couldn't make one last move. Back out front, the setup, and it's put away by Mr. Herbert Kauf, who was standing on the doorstep and said, thank you for the change. We are downtown Greenville, and I'm going to the bank, and I don't bank at Chase. I bank at Bonsacor Wellness Arena. What a goal. Sometimes you just look for a little loose change, says Herbert Kauf, one to one, one to one. What a good hockey game we got going here. Face off at center ice, hockey on. That puck will go down in the corner on the near boards. Here comes the Gamecocks. Gamecocks are coming. Oh, there's a setup up front. Oh, that player. Took a spill to the ice, and let me just say he was helped to the ice. Enzo Finelli was checked very hard to the ice there. This puck will go all the way down, slowing down, and Gamecocks will handle. Number 11. Ronan McCarron had that puck momentarily, but Clemson gets it back. Oh, off the skates of Sully Copper. That could have been trouble for the Gamecocks. Coming in the zone. Trying to go around the net is number 17. Enzo Finelli, I said his name already, but here comes Clemson on the offensive attack again. Clemson playing really good hockey late in the season as they made it to the finals last week. And watch out! That puck is! Did he? That looked like that was over the line, but I saw no linesman or official signal a goal. And the net came off the moorings, and it's still 1-1. Let's take a look at the replay. If they have that on replay, please show us that replay. Looks like they're just showing us wrestling day right now. Wow, I don't know if they're going to show that replay. Maybe they won't cover something they don't want to show us. <laughs> just kidding. Face off, oh, there it is. Was it a goal? We're going to find out. Yeah, it looks like he kept it behind the line. It's still 1-1. But as I say, Clemson made it to the finals last week in that tournament. And the team that they struggle to beat, the Tennessee Volunteers, did it to them again. Of course, Mr. Reed played such a good goal. There's a shot. There's a rebound. Loose pucks are out front for Clemson to be had. And that puck will. Little battle for the puck. It's going to stay for the Gamecocks. 
Leave that left it out front. That's Herbert Cop sending that forward to Diaz. Santiago's gonna send it down the corner. Ralston. Ralston's gonna choose to go around the net. Puts it out front. There was a loose puck for a second there, but they'll get it out of harm's way. This puck will go down behind the net. Eight minutes straight up left in the first period. One to one is the score. Charles DuBose sent that one all the way around the other side. Clemson's making this look like a power play right now. Like I said, Clemson's playing some of the best hockey they played all year right now. Make it to the finals last week and really not the team anybody thought would be in the finals. But the Volunteers took care of business and won the title of Southeast Hockey Championship for Division II AAU Hockey. 7 minutes and 5 seconds left in the first. Getting their wits about them is the Gamecocks but cannot seem to make the tape to tape passes they're looking for. Mike McKeon will send that puck down in the corner. Flaherty will go to get that. There's a there's a giveaway. And that was a nice slap shot there by Solly Cop but there's a setup there. Oh, it's a beautiful defensive play by Christian Romeo who got a stick in on that player on the backhand. Wow, Gamecocks are revving it up now. They'll lose the puck over the line, though. Oh, that's a giveaway. Sully Cobb could get in. Sully Cobb is being challenged. He's brought down. There's going to be a penalty. Sully Cobb is going to cause his team to go to the man advantage with hard work. You don't always score on a breakaway or on a odd man rush but you know what you can cause the power play and here it comes the power play we're looking for to take a one goal lead Stepping into the dot will be Samuelson. Trying to get that out to the point they will. Actually, that puck was all over the place. The captain will just gather and settle it down. Diaz. And he'll send out Kate Heinold try to a pass across ice that was defended by a couple players from the Gamecocks. Backhanded over. Oh, watch out. This is going to be a breakaway. All the way in. It's going to be a player from the Gamecocks. He's going to set up. And he goes five hole. That's right. The Gamecocks, Mr. Colin Reed, number four, found a way to get ahead of everybody. No traffic in front of him. Nobody in front of him but a goaltender named Caldwell. And he went short-handed. On the Clemson Tigers, it's two to one. Not what you look for if you're a Tiger fan. But that is how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Face off. We're back to action. Little under six minutes to go in the first. And Clemson will remain on the power play. They'll have to tie the game now. And gather out of the air. Doing his job there, of course. It's Tenoyan. And Tyler Tenoyan's had a little work to do this period. He's had a lot of pucks around him, and he's only sacrificed one. But it's a 2-1 lead for the Gamecocks, and I'm sure he's pretty comfortable right now. This puck will go all the way down to Caldwell. Clemson's going to look to regather. Samuel Sim will whoop that puck around and that hits a stanchion. And there's a setup out front. Oh, that could have been perfect. 
That could have been a... They're going to have another penalty. I do see an official with the arm in the air. He's got a slash. Who's he calling this slash on? It looks like Sully Cop is going to go to the penalty box. And the Gamecocks are going to go on a man advantage themselves. Well, let's see if the Tigers can get a shorty of their own. Brinkin tried to get that puck. Clemson is making some havoc in that zone, though. There's a pass over. Just flipping that puck down the corner. Will Rossum will go to the bench. And coming over the boards will be Govea. Troy Govea will replace him. The penalty kill is on for your Clemson Tigers. Gamecocks are looking to pad their lead. Leaving that puck there in the center ice. Defending well is Clemson, who's making it hard for University of South Carolina to get into the offensive zone as they're clogging up that neutral area. Now they're going to set up the Gamecocks, number 23, a player by the name of Ben Ricitelli. I've talked about him before. That puck will go down behind the net. Bumped off the puck. This puck will actually stay in the zone, but a, a second chance. Wall will try to get it out of the zone. He will not. It will go down the corner, and Gamecocks will gather up. Set it up on front. That was off a post. That was a perfect one-timer, but went off the post. Out front, there's a loose puck. Gamecocks are handling. They can handle, but you don't want them dealing. Watch out, there's a loose puck there. Wallace will grab this up, and he'll send it all the way down to 200 feet. And pause of action here. What do we got? We've got a Gamecock going into the sin bin, baby. That's right, Mr. Flaherty. Brendan Flaherty will spend some time on the pine, they say. A two minute holding cell is taking place now and another power play for your Clemson Tigers who gave up a shorthanded goal just a short time ago. Stepping in the face-off, that will be the Captain Sams. Her cop was whacking at that puck. Gamecocks trying to come out of the zone. We got a little four-on-four four hockey happening for a little bit here. Once this four-on-four four is over, the tie. Oh, those two players. Herbert Cop came together with Mr. Number 18. Find out who that was. Ooh, perfect. Nice centering pass, but that, that was a player by the name of Carson Scove who came together with that opposing player just a moment ago. Clemson. Will Van Sicklin on the right wing. Gains the blue line. Head up. Nice shot. But Des Moines is there. Tamoyan. Tamoyan, Tamoyan, Tamoyan. That's the name of the hockey goaltender that's getting a lot of work right now. And the power play starts its engine as we speak. Battling in the corner for the puck, they are. Trying to get it slowed down and set up. Rossum will gain it at the blue line. Van Sicklin. Shot. There's a loose puck. Oh, there was an open net. You got to take advantage of that. That was Brian Blomquist who couldn't find the handle or couldn't put it on target. 30 seconds left in the power play. Clemson's going to have to get this going quick. Will Roston.
you know the Tigers want to go into the intermission first period with a tie hockey game. Ethan Callahan sent all the way down the ice. Loose puck is there, and Gamecocks will get it out of harm's way. This power play will expire. <clears throat> Losing his edge there is a one Will Roston. Mike McKeon trying to get in the zone. This will come back out to neutral ice. Gamecocks trying to keep it in the zone. Ronan Bryant, good battle there. Christian Romeo sends over. Just got absolutely smashed into the boards. And that physicality causes this. Way to regroup on the defense if you are the Clemson Tigers there who could have been in no man's land. This could be a chance for Ronan Bryant. Can't get to it. 45 seconds left in the first. Two to one is the lead for the Gamecocks. Pass all the way up the ice. We'll stay in the zone. But gathered back up by Herbert Kopp. Herbert Kopp will leave it there for Romeo. Just under 30 seconds to go. Now in the corner. Tamoyan leaves that there. First corner parts. This puck will come out of the zone. Under 20 seconds to go. And the puck is knocked down a tad bit. Herbert Kopp can't get up the ice. This is onside. Watch out here. There's a shot. That puck will go way out of play. Up in the rafters if you can reach the rafters in this hockey arena. 4.5 ticks left on the clock in the first frame. The Palmetto Cup is delivering what we ask for, and that is action, action, action. We hope you're enjoying this hockey game on Razor Razor Sharp Hockey YouTube channel from the Greenville Swamp Rabbits home, Bon Secours Wellness Arena in beautiful downtown Greenville, South Carolina. This period will come to an end with three seconds ticking down. This is the end of an outstanding period of hockey and we'll talk a little bit about it. I'll tell you what, that was a period of hockey. You know, both teams came out playing very responsibly. And, you know, if I had one highlight of that period, it would be odd man rushes. You know, it looked like Clemson was going to be in a position to go into a comfortable lead on the power play and a puck goes between the feet of one of the Clemson's players can't remember the name at this time but there's a lot of players on the ice but the but the goaltender on a breakaway left his five hole open and that spells a two to one lead and that is why Clemson is down two to one now they've been battling back. They did get another man advantage, but both teams are shutting down the ice and the neutral part of the ice, and they're clogging up the zones. And it's just, it's a hockey game that could go either way at this time. We are absolutely loving this environment at Bon Secours Wellness Arena in Greenville, South Carolina. And we've got a little action on the ice for the intermission, but until the first period, Intermission ends and the puck is dropped again. This is Razor Razor Sharp saying, Hockey out. Somebody scream is what they said. It is time to scream. It's the second period and it's a two to one lead for the Gamecocks. I'm your voice of the Clemson Tigers, Razor Razor Sharp. And let's get this hockey party started once again. You are watching the Palmetto Cup. The one game that the Clemson Tigers and the Gamecocks of University of South Carolina look forward to all year to be able to say we are the best team in South Carolina. Of course, not a whole lot of distance separates these two teams, Columbia and Clemson. And that puck will go out of play. The 
you take a look at that jumbotron and it's got the video of all the people watching the game from the stands what an electric environment Game Cox will look to gather this fuck up and get back in the other end, but keep it in his zone. Oh, that's a beautiful setup. Santiago Diaz was almost an absolute highlight reel right there on that tip. He's going to get the puck back. Gamecocks will battle for that puck, but it will stay in Clemson's zone. Of course, they've changed sides as it is the second period. So now your Clemson Tigers are skating right to left and Gamecocks left to right. Nice move there. Gathering a puck will be Mike McKeon who just sent it down and Couple troops will change. Nice pass up. Leaving that puck out there almost. But getting to it in the nick of time is Caldwell. Here's a play by McKeon. Can't get in the zone. Solid cop tried to get to that puck. And a loose puck there. Watch out. This is going to be a odd man rush. Send it out front. And Caldwell will stay poised and gather that puck up. We'll go to another face off. That puck will go all the way down the ice as it rolls. And Tenoyim will just let his teammate gather it up and we'll go to another faceoff in the offensive zone for the Tigers. Caldwell, send that one aside. Oliver Grinken flips that puck down behind the net. Gamecox. Clemson leaves it there where they need to, but that puck will miss. The target and go all the way to the other side. Caldwell will leave that puck there for Charles DuBose. We'll go on the backhand of Grinken. Grinken will send this puck up. Tomas Samuelson. Heinold tried to set up a deflection in front of the net. Heinold with the puck. Samuelson with time and space. A nice defensive play by that player for the Gamecocks, number 11. That player that made the defensive play was Ronan Mulcairin. Clemson will gather up. Brian Blomquist, Kate Heinold, sends that puck to Noyan, doing his job to get it going to the other side. There's going to be a battle for the puck here. Benjamin Brucker came together with that player. Here's a centering pass. Gamecocks are going to gather. Oh, nice play off the boards. Cobble holds the post. That puck will trickle somehow over the glove and the pad. And sometimes you just crash the net and the puck goes in the net. I really thought Caldwell had stopped that puck long enough to get a whistle. But the linesman had a different view of the puck. And it looks like Caldwell... Yeah, went off of him. 
We're having a change in netminders as Parker Dietz gets between the two blue pipes and will look to be a spark as the Clemson Tigers are down two goals. Coming up on the moving toward the halfway point of this hockey game. There is Santiago Diaz. Will Roston. Van Sicklin can't get to that puck. Ooh, that was sent from way out. That puck could have had eyes, but did not. Will Roston just trying to get the zone will be checked off that puck by Flaherty. And here comes the Gamecocks. Two goal lead. Clemson will have something to say about that though. Watch out, here's a setup. Just getting the puck as Clemson watch it. That's a loose puck. And I'll tell you what, you're not gonna get a more gaping net than that. Could Clemson do something after that mistake? Oh, the shot Mike McKeon was looking for. And now we got a track meet going on out there. Oliver Grinkett's going to get this puck on the backhand. Go to Gavea, but kept in the zone for the Gamecocks. There's a loose puck there. Parker Dietz. Parker Dietz left the net wide open and that player for the Gamecocks could not send it home as he squeezed and gripped his stick a little bit too tight and sent it far side and missed everything. And that puck will stay in play. Clemson looking to get in the zone. This puck will go off the stanchion. Patrick O'Brien, nice moves there. He's being congested there. Contested would be the word. Grinken sends down toward the net. Loose puck. He puts it away! If you leave a puck in front of the net and you got a second and third chance opportunity, Ethan Callahan will show you exactly what happens in those cases. He puts the puck away. He had just enough time to get the puck past the net. Miter to Noyan, who is playing a good hockey game. And we have a one goal hockey game. Three to two. Down come the Gamecocks, there's a look. There's another stop and you're not gonna stop what you can't see. Parker Dietz had no chance on that one as the puck was, the rebound went way out, right near the circles and making no mistake about that are your Gamecocks. That was number 18. I'm sure I said his name before, Carson Scove, who put that one home, and they regained a two goal lead. Here's a chance. Herbert Kopp skied that puck over the net, but had a look. Watch out. You don't want to leave this guy alone. And that puck will hit the glass. Brian Blomkus will send it up the boards. This puck will rim around to the other side to the near boards. Clemson trying to get up the ice, but battling well is number four on defense for the Gamecocks, Colin Reed. Who came back to help his teammates there. This is going to be a setup, a shot. That's going to whistle past the post, miss everything, come back out to neutral ice. Getting that puck up will be the Gamecocks. Ronan McCarron had that puck, sent it forward. They're going on the offensive attack again. There's a good deflection by number 26, Will Van Sicklin, who got the blade of his stick in the way of that pass, or that could have been danger, danger. 
That puck's left in a precarious position. Backhand over. Nobody on the other side to retrieve it. This puck is sent down. Starting to fly around of the game. Cox. Nice pads there as he flashed the pads at Parker Dietz. Ronan. That was Rawson trying to get in the zone. There is Diaz. Santiago. That's going to be a trip. And the Clemson Tigers will go on another man advantage. This will be their third man advantage of the hockey tilt. And they're going to have to make something happen here to cut this lead to one. 11.40 left in the second period. This is your voice of the Clemson Tigers. Razor, razor sharp. And we're eating this hockey game for lunch, baby. And I mean that literally. It is about 2.30 in the afternoon. Pass over. There's another setup. Oh, the rebound was there for Samuelson, who couldn't capitalize, but had the right idea. Clemson trying to keep it in the zone to slow it down to get on the power play again. That puck will be cleared, though. Thomas Slocken was the one who got that puck out of harm's way, and starting over will be Clemson on the power play. Kate Heinold, time and space, that took the shot, didn't have much. There's another shot. You see to slow this puck down and set it up now. Shooting forever doesn't always work. You have to set up that play. Sully Cop, far boards. Sends over to Kate Heinold, Kate Heinold. Try to center and pass, there's another pass. There's a puck out front, there's a loose puck. Can they find it? They cannot. It goes back out though. Kate Heinold's gonna go for the shot. Another chance. Kate Heinold sends down in front of the net. Samuelson out to Diaz. Samuelson back to Diaz, the shot through the traffic. And Herbert Kopp trying to put that out front of the net again. It'll just go off the pads of the goaltender to Noyan. Pass over. Kate Heinold. 20 seconds left in the power play. Spurs set up. Oh, that was a beautiful save and a loose puck. That is some good hockey there, but the Tigers come up short and do not score the goal so far. 10 seconds left in the power play. They're going to have to get it going quick. McKeon sends over. Slapper and snatched out of the air. Mr. Tyler Tamoyan says, I've got this. Not putting the puck past my ears on my watch. Four to two. The power play's expired. And I would say Clemson threw everything at the Gamecocks, but the kitchen sink in the entire house there. And came up empty. Still 4-2. If any of you guys are watching this game later, uh, we were not able to do the live feed on the YouTube channel as we apologize. The technology and the way they have things set up here, we just couldn't connect and get, a, get any kind of a video production that was even worth showing. It was, the video was barely moving, so we apologize. But we are going to let you see this later as if you're watching it now, it has already taken place. I assume you're probably watching this in the evening of Saturday, the 24th of February, because that's probably when I will have it up on my channel. So thanks for understanding. We apologize once again. But the good news is you're going to get it in crystal clear and not HD this time. We're in 4K resolution for this game. If you can't tell and you haven't changed your resolution on your television, your smart TV, whatever you might be watching this game on, switch it over to 4K because that is what this broadcast is being broadcasted in. 8.40 left in a second. Clemson's going to have to bring it. You don't want to go down three goals. Now puck will be sent back in the zone. One of the goal scorers, Ethan Callahan, 
doing his part there. This puck will be sent up. That puck will go on the backhand. Trying to get out of the zone will be Clemson. Sending it up. Good physicality happening on the ice out there, but do we have a pause in action? Wow, look at them going at it over there. Who is going to the penalty box? Looks like a player from the Gamecocks is heading to the sin bin. Uh, same player that was there before, Mr. Flaherty. Flaherty is an electric hockey player, but he loves to get physical. Finds himself in the penalty box pretty often. Clemson has to capitalize on this man advantage. They have to come through. Tyler Tamoyan's gonna have to be the best penalty killer if you are a Gamecocks fan. But we don't want him to be a good penalty killer because we are Clemson Tigers. Yes, we are. If I could give them any advice on this power play it would be set up more shots and don't just shoot from anywhere. But sometimes just getting the puck on net is all that matters. We hope you're enjoying this broadcast and this presentation of Clemson Tigers hockey from Bon Secours Wellness Arena. The Palmetto Cup is on the line. 4-2 is the score. Gamecocks ahead. But do your Tigers have something to say about that? <clears throat> We're absolutely enjoying this one. We hope you are too. And the power play will take place. That puck will stay in the zone for Clemson. Rawson will send it up the boards. Santiago Diaz will gather. He'll send it back up the far boards and it will go to the captain. Back to Diaz. The captain sends down on that through the traffic. Nothing happens there. Puck comes back out. We have a double minor. Didn't realize that. That's why he was so upset. So we do have a four minute power play. They have to come through. Ooh, that was a scary pass. Made it though. Pass over, Kate Heinold. Kate Heinold sends down low. Herbert Kopp, head up. Down the corner, looking over his option, sends back out to Cade. Ooh, Cade's gonna miss that. Caldwell will come to the aid and get it back over to, well, he appeared to try to get it back over to Diaz, but eluded the stick. Now Diaz will gather up on the backhand, send it up the captain. Little under three to go in this power play. Cade Heinold trying to get tight space. There's a shot, the rebound. Boy, what a wicked shot that kid has, Cade Heinold. Backhand over, Rawston sends back out. Sent back over, not being able to get this puck to watch out. Clemson's. Got a good challenge from the Gamecocks on these pucks. And it will be, no, it doesn't come out. Diaz will send over the other side, back out to Diaz. Diaz, a shot through the traffic. Doesn't make it though. We're coming down to two minutes left in this power play. Double minor, as we had said. Who is gonna be the difference maker? Christian Romeo. Sends the puck down in the corner. Down behind the net, this puck will go. Solid cop is there. And this is going to be an easy clear. It will come out. Chasing that puck will be Brian Blomquist. Going to have to get this power play set up soon. They have squandered three minutes of power play almost. Christian Romeo. Trying to gather that speed to get set up. Going to send it out to Brian Blomquist. In front of the net, there's a shot off the glove. Solid cop. Solid cop, skating around. Sent out front of the net. Brian Blomquist sent that puck over. Solid cop getting to the puck. Only a minute left in the power play. Troy Govea 
over to Brian Blomquist. Oh, that was a, an air pass. You don't want that. On a power play, you never want to make a bad pass. Oh, that's a loose puck there out front. And that puck will miss Brian Blomquist. 50 seconds left in man bench. Still a lot of time left. Look at the battle for that puck in the corner. Good challenge there. That was number 25, John Riggins, who made that hard for Blomquist to get out of the zone. Trying to make a move, that is. Oh, he hit the crossbar. Did Herbert Kopf. That's one of our really good shooters there. Herbert Kopf sends back over to Heinold. Heinold pass all the way over. Diaz is going to gather up. You got to make something happen now. There's not much time left in this power play. Kate Heinold, shot. This puck will come back out to center ice. Going to have to get a goal on even strength as the penalty kill comes up big for the Gamecocks. All the way down the other side. Chasing this puck will be the Gamecocks. Are they going to make that call? They're going to let him play. Lost his edge. Out front of the net, they try to go. Heinold tried to pass it up. Ethan Callahan trying to make a move around the D on the backhand. That'll be just pushed off. Tamoyan made that last save look suspect. There's a shot from way out. Loose bodies. I should say a lot of bodies. No loose puck in the end. will go to the other side. We'll have an icing. 3.26 left. The Clemson Tigers need to come back with a goal right now. As we speak, they need to come up with a goal or this game could possibly get out of hand. You do not want to see the Gamecocks score another goal. Ronan Bryant. Ethan Callahan tried to send it out front, but it missed everybody. And with three minutes left in the second, what can Clemson do? Grinken being hounded by that player from the Gamecocks. Oh, absolutely smashed into the boards. When you see those numbers, you cannot throw that check. And it looked like a cross check as well. So guess what? Okay. As good as this team is playing from Columbia, South Carolina, the Gamecocks are in the penalty box again. And if I'm not mistaken, I see two players in the penalty box. <clears throat> Maybe he's staying in there till the period's over. Oh yeah, it was a double minor. Was it a game misconduct? No, a major penalty would be a game misconduct. He's probably just not playing the rest of the period, so they're not letting him out. Oh, that's a, that's a play you gotta have there. Clemson's gonna have to slow this down. They're getting man advantage after man advantage, but they have to come through. That's not where you wanna leave the puck. Kate Heinold. Power play is a quarter of the way over. 130 left in this man advantage. They just need to set it up. The puck battles. That's out to the captain. Captain will send this out. There's a shot. Did not get through any bodies, though. And Santiago Diaz. There's a stop. And you've got the captain sitting on the left wing with a right hand shot and Mr. Mr. Samuelson Thomas Samuelson says I'll take that one timer and I'll cut the lead to one it is four that is four to three Gamecocks in the lead what a perfect shot that's how you draw up a one-timer right there. 
It is a one goal lead for the team known as University of South Carolina because the Tigers are starting to use their claws. We have got an absolute barn burner of a hockey game going down right now. Could possibly be the best of the year and that's what the hockey doctors order. If the facilities are Bon Secor Wellness Arena. You could call this arena home ice for Clemson because we live closer to the arena. However, watch this. Mike McKeon lost the puck off the heel of his stick as he went to stick handle there. These teams are playing hard. Checks are happening. The physicality is picking up. And the teams are capitalizing on their chances. Ethan Callahan backhands over. Ronan Bryant going to try to get the puck. But back on D is that player, John Riggins, number 25. Watch out. Breaking all the way in. Oh, he hit the crossbar. Or did he hit the post? I know he hit metal. That's all that matters. Ronan Bryant's going to leave it there with a shot. That looked like a good shot from Patrick O'Brien coming in the nick of time. That puck missed. Here comes the Gamecocks, number 22 on the right wing. Nice move to the inside. Oliver Greekin was there. Set him up in front, did they? That was Dylan Grilly who was trying to pull off that move. And Patrick O'Brien who's trying to get it out of the zone. It will go out of play. I will tell you what, this game is heating up and getting hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. If you're a KISS fan, you know what that means. Four to three, 33.6 ticks left on the second period. Could Clemson tie it up before this period comes to a close? Ooh, nice setup. Loose puck. Try to center and pass there. Gamecocks are just, there's a good play there, but here comes Clemson. Could be a two-on-one developing. There is, he's got Diaz on the left. The setup. Oh, he's going to run into the post. Ran out of railroad tracks. And here comes the track beat. Flying down the ice in South Carolina. University USC looking over the options. That puck will miss everything. This will be the end of an amazing second period. That had us all saying, oh my, me and my, can you give me some more hockey? Let's, let's go ahead and break down that period. All I can say is that period was absolutely electricity. From the moment the period started, kind of a slow little start, but with all the man advantages and the odd man rushes, and, you know, the highlight of the period, of course, was the captain. Captain Samuelson with the one-timer to the back of the twine. Let me tell you something. It doesn't get any better than this. You got a guy out there who used to be the coach of the University of Michigan, known as Jim Harbaugh, who now coaches an NFL team known as the Chargers of Los Angeles. And he says the words, no one's got it better than us. Are you kidding me? We've got it better than you, Jim. We're at the Secor, Bon Secor Arena in Greenville, South Carolina. We're at the home of the, are you kidding me? The Swamp Rabbits. That's right. The Greenville Swamp Rabbits call this place home ice. And I'm excited because we've got one HE double hockey sticks of a game going on here in South Carolina. Well, the Palmetto Cup is on the line. Who is going to take it home? We're going to fight out in the third period. Until that third period is upon us, this is Razor Razor Sharp saying, hockey out.
All right, everybody. If you have not been enjoying this hockey game, you have never been to a hockey game and you don't understand the game of hockey. This game is electric and makes some noise. This is the voice of Clemson Tigers, Razor Ranger Sharp. And I mentioned we were eating this one for lunch. But we're going in for a third helping right now. It's as if it's a smorgasbord and we get to eat anything we want on the hockey table. Boy, what a hockey game. The Gamecocks are in the lead four to three. And the Clemson Tigers, I said it before, have something to say about that. Hockey on. Charles Dubose will Flip that puck over to Grinken. Grinken will go to the captain. The captain will send out to Herbert Kopp. Herbert Kopp will send down behind the net. No one will leave it there. And that puck will go out of play. Face off in the offensive zone for the Tigers. Backhanded down, the captain will get to this puck. Gamecocks will come out though. Coming up on the left wing, checked well. Herbert Kopp had a nice body check there, but this puck will stay in the zone for the Gamecocks. Down the corner, they'll look to set up. Battle for the puck in the corner. These teams are playing for the right to be the champion of the Palmetto Cup, last game of the regular season. And then they will head on to Pennsylvania in a couple weeks to go to the Nationals as both teams have qualified. That puck will be flipped out of the zone. Herbert Kopp will go down to get this puck. This puck will stay in. That is Diaz with the time space. Oh, that shot was there. The velocity was on, but the target was not hit. Nice body check over there. Clemson gets a puck though. Trying to send it over to Rawston. That puck will be flipped all the way to the other side and Christian Romeo will gather up this puck on an icing. Faceoff will take place in the offensive zone for the Tigers. Stepping into that faceoff dot will be Mike McKeon, number 29. Yeah, left that puck at his skates and it'll come out. Gamecocks will gather up. Gamecocks will get to the center line. Leaving that puck behind the blue line though. Trying to go back on the retreat and get out of harm's way and we've got a stoppage of play with a hand pass and we'll start over 18 11 left in the third period the tigers are looking to gather a goal up here real soon to tie this hockey game and the shots on goal of course if you look at the board 21 to 21 you could not have a more competitive hockey game here what a contest. Mike McKeon, face off, leaves it there. Clubs it coming up the near boards, trying to get over the line. McKeon's in the center. Govea, Govea tried to put the puck on net. Didn't have a lot of time or space to do that. It'll stay in a zone for Clemson though. Puck battle on the far boards. There's Solly Kopp, nice move there. Solly Kopp sends it out front. Didn't make it through the D though. And here comes the Gamecocks on a two on two. Nice poke check to get that puck out of the danger area. 
Christian Romeo. Clemson will, that puck will come back and it will start going north and south again. That puck whizzed past the glove. Tyler Tamoyan didn't even attempt to catch that puck. Knocked down by Ronan Bryant. Good play there. Could have been interference. No call. Ooh, Ronan Bryant working hard. Gets the puck. He's got his head up. Send over. Could not make the tape to tape pass to Wallace. And Wallace gets tripped behind the play and no call coming there. The Clemson Tigers have had a lot of penalties called going their way. And they have not spent much time in the penalty box themselves. So watch out. That could change. If you're just joining us, you're watching the Palmetto Cup from the Bon Secor Wellness Arena in Greenville, South Carolina. The team that will be the dominant team of South Carolina. They'll be able to make that claim when this game is over. Flying up the ice to be Wallace. Wallace can fly. Wallace is a very fast skater. That puck will make it in the zone, but going back the other way. The puck will gain a little speed and it will be an icing. This hockey game has absolutely been like a crazy train, but now we're looking for the railroad tracks to be in favor of your Tigers to make this a 4-4 hockey game. Five on five hockey taking place right now. Captain Sams will step into the face-off area. Yeah, puck is dropped. Game costs are going to look to control. Center, that's going to be a little bit of backhand there. And Parker Dietz will stay still and stay in position, make the save. Matthew Caldwell was the goaltender who started today and Parker Dietz took his place as Matthew was not having one of his greatest games. And Parker Dietz has done a good job since he's came in. I believe he's given up one goal. That was a nice shot, but missed the top of the net. Gamecocks are starting to control. Pass over. Out in front of the net, they had that puck, had a chance, but there's another loose puck. Where's that loose puck going? Oh! Yeah, that was, uh, that was what you call puck luck. I mean, couldn't even find the puck, and it just appeared in front of that player's stick, and it's shot home with a 5-3 to three lead. Watch this puck. Zoom in on that. Yeah, I mean, there's the shot, but the puck was... Didn't even know where the puck was and it just came down out of the air and landed right in front of his stick. Watch. Well, that's just a beautiful shot though. Capitalization. 5-3. That is the goal we did not want the Gamecocks to get. The Division Two and Division One divide is starting to show up as the Gamecocks are in a different division. It's cool that they still have this battle though because it's just nice to see them compete. The Gamecocks have got the better of the Tigers every time they've faced them. But what a hockey organization and club Clemson is putting together. It's just gonna get better. Brian Blomquist, watch out. This could be a breakaway. And back on D, though, is that defensive player, Christian Romeo. And uh, Clemson will look to come back up the other direction. There's a good defensive play there. This puck will go down on the near boards. Diaz might have a backhand in front. But on the wrong side of the stick was Von Sicklin. And here comes another chance for number 19, who just seems to have the puck over and over. That player is Thomas Locken. Been told one of their best players. He is a winger. And Clemson's going to pass up. That will miss everybody and go down in the corner. 
That will be an icing. 14.53 left in the third. We're going to have to see the Clemson Tigers light the lamp for this game to become exciting as it is starting to get away from them. I expect there to be another goal from Clemson. Who will it be though? Mike McKeon kicks the puck up there with his skates. That puck will be shot down toward the net, never made it there. And here comes Clemson. Skating up the ice on the right wing on the left hand shot. Trying to get around the defenseman. Did not make it. Ooh, Oliver Griggan made an ill-advised pass and now there's gonna be an odd man rush. Trying to get back is Grinken. That puck will go between the skates of everybody and ends up not being much trouble in the end. Watch out, that puck's good eye hand coordination on Parker Dietz who used the stick to get that puck out of the crease. There's another check from behind the numbers, but no call. This puck will be sent up. And that puck will go out of play. Coming off the weekends, of course, the Clemson Tigers went deep into the tournament in Huntsville, Alabama, and made it to the finals. And the tournament that the Gamecocks were in, they got ousted pretty early. So they didn't play as many hockey games last weekend as Clemson did. But that doesn't matter, because when you're on the ice, you have to make it happen no matter how many games you've played, whether you have your legs or not. Buck will come out to neutral ice. Game Cox will handle this backhand back in their zone. It will stay out of their zone. It's a good check by Wallace. Starting to put the body on each other, they are. And that puck will be left in center. Patrick O'Brien backhands that puck down in the corner, and that will stay in the zone. That's a giveaway. Herbert Kopp is going to have to come up big. He's one of our great goal scorers. Checked off the puck. And Gamecocks come up the ice. Watch out, that's a perfect setup. The shot whistled past the post. We have a stoppage of play. Not sure what happened there. That won't be a penalty, but they're going to pause action for a second. 13.03 left in the third period. We need lucky number 13 to come up big. We need a goal. 13 minutes left, still a lot of time left in a hockey game. Two goal lead for the Gamecocks. Let's make this place erupt, Tigers. Charles DuBose being challenged by the puck, on the puck there. Herbert Cobb passes up. Heinold up to the captain. Captain's gonna gain the blue line. Captain left it there for Heinold. Heinold, center and pass, no one's home. Had the right idea, but nobody was there. Coming up the ice for the game, Cox, but intercepted. Nice one-touch pass. Herbert Kopp took a spill there. He'll be no worse for the wear. Here comes the game, Cox. Getting into the play is number six there. Ooh, nice center and pass. No harm. That's Tommy Marvin that was getting into the play. Charles DuBose. Sends that puck up. That's a rolling puck that will go in the corner. Waiting for icing, not gonna happen. Clemson will gather. Clemson will look to get out of the corner. They are mucking for the puck in the corners there. As you would remember the grind line years ago, if you were a Red Wing fan from the 90s, always mucking for the puck, they would call it. Here comes Clemson up the ice. Not Clemson, I mean, here comes Gamecocks. And Parker Dietz will snatch that one with the glove. 11.41 left in the third period. The Gamecocks are in a comfortable lead. But what is the most dangerous lead to be in in hockey? A two-goal lead. Come on, Tigers. Mike McKeon 
Trying to get out of the zone. It's going to be kept in. Brian Blomquist. That puck will get out. Troy Govea chasing down there in the other end. Backhanded over. Trying to make their life hard is the Clemson Tigers. Mike McKeon's going to have to skate to get this puck. Brought down. Letting them be physical out there. Stayed in the zone. Flipped down in the corner to Mike McKeon. Mike McKeon can't get that puck to his counterparts. It'll come out. Keeping the puck will be Brian Blomquist. Brian Blomquist will send it down in the corner. It'll whoop around the other side. And Clemson will be there. A lot of the plays are coming together right now for the Gamecocks. As it seems to be tilting the direction of the Gamecocks, Thomas Locken is all over the ice. Trying to get up the ice is Clemson now. Blomquist will just flip the puck in the zone and a line change will take place. Neutral ice. We've had kind of a sleepy third period. Someone's got to make something happen soon. Trying to bang that puck off the net. Trying to get position is Patrick O'Brien. Battling for the puck there. This puck's going to go down to the corner. Gamecocks are going to get out of the zone, though. Watch out here. Number 25 coming up the ice. That's John Riggins. Set up out front. Oh, great save by Parker Dietz. Parker Dietz had to have that save. You don't want to see a three-goal lead. Out front of net. Active stick. Ronan Bryant was there with the stick to get it out of there. Under 10 minutes to go in the third frame. Gamecocks have just slowed the game down. Off the skates, Charles DuBose now frantically getting this puck out of the zone this will be no it went off of a skate or a stick it's no icing that one will be an icing and we'll start over well it's coming down that time where you're halfway through the period and you need a goal to cut the lead to one second period was so exciting this one has just kind of been a period where the Gamecocks have decided to slow the game down, keep the pucks all the outside, and hope that Clemson makes mistakes. And Clemson needs to turn it up. Captain Sams controlling the puck behind, looking to send out to the point. Benjamin Brucker sends down low. Puck makes it behind the net. Kate Heinold directing traffic. Sends it back out to Brucker. Benjamin Brucker. That was an ill-advised pass, but keeping it in the zone would be the captain. But a line change will take place. And there's a check for Heinold. Going to the corner will be Brucker. Backhand over. Will Rostin flips that puck up. Trying to get out of the zone is the Tigers now. Send over. A lot of non-tape-to-tape -tape passes with less than nine minutes in the third. It's as if the Tigers have kind of ran out of gas from playing so hard last week. There was a perfect setup on the one-timer. Send back out. Gamecocks are taking control of this game. It looks like Clemson's lost their legs playing so many games on the weekend of that tournament last weekend. Just don't look like the same team they looked like in the second period. They're going to have to find some energy. Clemson is chasing the puck now. Here's his pass over. Diaz can't get a shot on goal. Defense is there. Down behind the net. There's a shot. Whiz past the mask of the netminder. To Noyan. This period is just winding down as if there's just no control as the clock gets further and further down and nothing is coming out of it for Clemson. Flipped out of the zone. And we have a whistle.
guess what? If you are a Clemson hockey fan, we have got what we would ask for as we've had nothing going positive for the whole third period. As number 21 from the Gamecocks, Mr. Zachary List will spend some time in the sin bin. Zoom in on the coaches down there as they're gonna have a little time out. Time to rev up the engines. The Tigers need to rev those engines up as this has been an absolute uneventful third period. And I don't want to be disrespectful, but I've kind of been bored. But the last seven minutes could ring supreme. You never know. The energy level could be turned up with a goal. Come on, Clemson, make this game five to four on this power play. I've got a player by the name of Cade Heinold, number nine, being the player that cuts this lead to one. My one player to watch on this Clemson man advantage coming up right now. Here we go, Captain Samuelson will go into the faceoff and the young lady linesman will let the puck go. And there's Kate Heinold, the player that I mentioned. He'll get the puck all the way to the other side and keeping it in will be the captain. Sending down low to Herbert Kopp. Herbert Kopp is challenged on the puck. Sending it back down low. That is Ralston trying to get a puck through the traffic is Clemson not working out though, and that's sent 200 feet of the ice. Coming down to get this puck will be Santiago Diaz. One minute 30 left on the man advantage. Clemson's gotta get this going. Left that puck in no man's land. That's not what you wanna do if you're on the power play. Oh, good job knocking that puck down though. Diaz leaves that puck there. K9 old, K9 old, stick handle to the center, there's a chance! Went far side and missed everything. And that puck will go out of the zone. Getting down in the nervous time of this hockey game. Got to get a goal. Just under a minute in the power play to go. Set up. Set up out front. Loose puck. Cannot gather it up. Can the Tigers? There's a shot on that. Oh, that could have deflected home. Didn't find a way. Out front of the net. Goes the captain, captain the zone, Santiago. Oh, beautiful play, beautiful play. Govea's gonna defend, but the, the chance to set up and a save. That's the save you need if you are Clemson. Thank you, Mr. Parker Dietz. 26 to go in the power play. And look at that play by the goaltender making that save. All right, coming down the five minute mark. It's gotta happen now if you're the Tigers. Your opportunity don't get bigger than this to cut the lead to one. Boy, we wish that was a one goal lead, not a two. Still a lot of time left in the hockey game though. Ben Sicklin sends down behind the net. Govea on the backhand. Leaves it there for Solikov. Solikov sends over to Christian Romeo. Christian Romeo sends back to Solikov. Solikov loses it in the linesman skates, but he's gonna control behind the net. Gonna keep that puck. There's a pass over to Solikov, but not enough time and space. Backhanded behind, loose puck, and Gamecocks will get to this puck and easily clear it. Here comes the game Cox into the zone. Pass over. Christian Romeo just gets there in the nick of time. Cap in the zone though on a poke check. Good play. Under five to go. Clemson's got to come up with a tally. Patrick O'Brien. Ronan Bryant. Ronan Bryant tried to make a move to the center. Trying to eye hand coordinate that out of the air was Callahan. That did not work out.
Puck battles are being won by the team in black. There's a one-timer. Loose puck. Nobody in a white jersey there to gather that puck up. The puck luck is not going the way of Clemson with four minutes to go in the Palmetto Cup. Grinken missed that skater there. That puck will go all the way down. This will be an icing. 3.52 left in the third. 5-3 is the score. What an amazing hockey game until the third period. There's just been no flow. There's been no setups. There's been no offensive odd man rushes. No second chance opportunities. Clemson needs to come up with it now if they're going to win this game. Out to center ice, that puck will go left there. Trying to gather his zone, they will. Here comes Clemson. Nice move, but another defender is on the other side. Here comes that team in black. They held, that wasn't off sides. Could not quite hold the zone. It's got to happen right now. At some point, we're going to be watching for Parker Dietz to leave the ice. Boy, I would love to see an exciting goal and a comeback. Not looking like it's in the cards, though. The pass over Mike McKeon loses his edge. I'm sorry, that was Diaz. There's a shot. That puck will go out of play. 316 left. With 3.16 left in the third period here at Bon Secours Wellness Arena, Razor Razor Sharp has a question for you. Does anybody on the Clemson Tigers want to be a comeback kid? That's right, we need someone to be a comeback artist right now with one goal to come back to make this a hockey game. Two old games are not fun with three minutes left in the game. Gamecocks will look to do more of the same and just get the puck in and out of the zone and take no chances and play safe as they can put this game away easily. Clemson's going to have to make a big play. When will the coach pull the goaltender? Two minute mark, probably. You can never draw up exactly what you want in a hockey game. There's a shot for Kate, I know. Kate's gonna get to this puck. Pass over to the captain. Captain's gonna leave it there for Brucker. Brucker shoots for the traffic. And he hits Kate, I know, doesn't hit the net. Good back check by Herbert Kopp. And Brian Blomquist will leave it there for Parker Dietz. And what do you do with two minutes Well, the question is, what do you do with 241 left in the game, 5-3, to three, and you got to come back? You pull the goaltender. Uh, Parker Dietz has got to leave the ice soon if uh, the Tigers are going to have any chance of winning this game. It just appears that they lost their legs. It appears that they had two periods of hockey in them and just had a really long weekend last weekend and they're coming up short with the energy department. This puck will just get out of the zone. Going to have to see some magic happen. Watch number 35. Let's see if he leaves. The problem is it's a power play for the Gamecocks. I didn't even realize that. Pass up. Going to need an odd man rush. There won't be one, but there's Captain Sams. Tried to pass over. Left the puck there for Heinold. Yeah, this is a very scary position to be in. It's a power play for Gamecocks. This game is all but over, as even pulling the goaltender is not going to help you. That would make you even. Just a third period that... Everything changed. 
it all changed on a dime. Like when the third period started, it was a entirely different hockey game than we've been watching. But that's why they play the game. Gamecocks will look to win this series this year, I believe three games to all. Or shall I say four games though if they win this one. They won two on home ice. Clemson's home ice. One game on their home ice and looks like they're going to put this one away too. Oh! oh my God. No, he just stopped it. Sully Cop almost made an unbelievable play. Could you imagine if that would have went home? That almost went home, but reacting just in time was Mr. Tadoyan. Wow, I didn't expect that. I would have been amazed if that was a goal. One minute 16 to go in the hockey game. This game is, like I said, it's all but over. That would have been exciting if that happened. It did not. It was not in the cards today for Clemson to come out on top. We're gonna have to see a miracle. This could be an eye man rush. Nope, defenders are gonna get back and just take the puck back. It's been a good hockey game. I think the first and second period were absolutely on fire. I I applaud the Gamecocks for playing a sound defensive game and doing what they have to to put the game away, slowing it down in the third period to win this Palmetto Cup. 20 seconds left. This is going to be all she wrote from the Bon Secor Wellness Arena as Herbert Cop makes the move up the ice, trying to get to the inside. Center and pass, and the puck luck will not come through once again. This will be it. That puck is cleared one last time. And the University of South Carolina Gamecocks have come to Greenville. Bon Secor Wellness Arena and won this game by a score of five to three. Both teams brought the energy, but the third period was absolutely a different story. What a great atmosphere we've been in today watching this game. Clemson came up short, but they cannot hang their heads. They played hard. I do believe they just ran out of energy in the third. Once again, coming off of a weekend where they played so much hockey. This has been an outstanding hockey game today, though. Tip your cap off to the University of South Carolina Gamecocks, who will gather up the Palmetto Cup. It's waiting there for them on the other side. You know, the good news is the Clemson Tigers are on their way up, though. They have not been able to solve this team known as the Gamecocks. But boy, they had a good year, regular season of hockey. The hardware will be given out. Congratulations to the University of South Carolina Gamecocks who will skate the Palmetto Cup around the ice here at Bon Secor Wellness Arena. And Leading the pack for his team is number 22, Dylan Grilly. He's gonna hand that cup off to a player 
that everybody knows in South Carolina. Number 15, Bobby DeSisio. Looks like only two guys are going to be able to skate that puck as they're now going to get a picture. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not the Stanley Cup, but it's the closest they will be to a Stanley Cup. Getting to skate a cup around. There is the picture taking place for the team that comes out of the Columbia area of South Carolina. Congratulations, they played an outstanding sound hockey game and put it away in the third period by making it very difficult for Clemson to do anything and turn it into a defensively sound put away. Well, this is Razor's very sharp and uh, let's go ahead and wrap up this year. Well, it all started back in, I believe it was September, or was it October? It was October. And the Clemson Tigers told me that I could be the play-by-play -play announcer of their team. You know, voluntary wise, you know, we all know that Clemson doesn't have a budget for this and and we're just lucky that these players get to play, you know. But it has been an outstanding, outstanding time I've had calling all these games. And a shout out to Christian Goss, my son, who's done the videography. You know, we really appreciate having the opportunity to do this for all the Clemson fans. And anybody who's tuning in on Razor Razor Sharp Hockey YouTube channel, thank you for joining us in any game you may have joined. We did try the live feed thing. Going live streaming is not easy. You have to have a team behind you. We apologize if it didn't come through the way it should, as we are a one-man band. I'll tell you what, Clemson's got some good things going on in the future. The Clemson Tigers, University of Clemson Tigers, are Division II, and they're adding a Division III team as well. And I do think the Division II will become Division I soon. Not quite there. Haven't been able to beat the Gamecocks. I think that's kind of a measuring stick. That's kind of a measuring stick. And they haven't been able to get past that. You know, past that. Let's just say Denali. You know, Denali, everybody knows, is the highest point of anything. And they just haven't been able to get past that Denali. Let me just say this. We look forward to another fun-packed season of hockey in 2024-25 season. Clemson Tigers are not done at this time though. They are gonna go on into the Nationals as they were the runner-ups in the South Championship game versus the Tennessee Volunteers. And if we can find a way to call those games, we will, but I'm not sure that's gonna be in the cards as it is a 10 hour drive and comes down to the work schedule as well for me. But I will tell you this once again, thank you for giving us the opportunity to call hockey for the Clemson Tigers, University of Clemson Tigers Hockey Club. Until we see you next year on the ice, this is Razor Razor Sharp saying the words, hockey off.